Hey guys, this is Sardine slash Julian. I did a flip-flop hike of the Appalachian Trail last year, and I'm going to make a video about all the gear that I got rid of during my hike. So, sent home, basically. Um, I didn't really throw anything out. It mailed it all home. So, this bag right here is uh, most of that, probably like 90% of that. Um, I don't have, like, physically everything that I sent home, uh, but this is, uh, see if I can pick this up with one hand to show you the weight. This is, this is pretty heavy it's probably about like seven eight maybe like eight pounds ten pounds something like that um it's my guess but all stuff part of it was like i'll go through it all part of it was like season changes stuff i really didn't uh learn it in need um sometimes i tried something out for like a month or a few weeks and then sent it home uh but i'll show you this this is this is my loadout when i uh started the trail uh, base weight of about 21 pounds, and this is my loadout when I ended the trail, base weight of about 13 pounds. So you can see a pretty big difference between those two right there. So um, first, I'll just mention stuff that's not in that bag that I wrote down, because um, I, I looked at my lighter pack, uh, my pack loadout from before the trail, and went through it all. Uh, so um, I sent home a self-inflating pad at one point, uh, not worth the extra weight. Uh, uh, I sent home micro spikes at one point. Uh, I used them. Some people brought them like it was helpful maybe one or two days uh, where there was like an icy part. I could go a little faster. Um, not necessary for the AT, but nice to have uh, in the beginning. I sent home a Z-Lite Soul. It's a, a foam uh, pad. I tried that on its own for a little while and ended up kind of like I would just use an inflatable one uh, next time, the, the Neo Air x Lite. Uh, I sent home a liner. I used it on and off. Um, in the future, I would trade, uh, I would rather just get a warmer sleeping bag. Um, you know, I'll sp spend the, get, carry the, because the liner is going to weigh a lot more, so I'd rather just like put that extra warmth into more down in the quilt or sleeping bag. Uh, at one point I sent home like a really big puffy jacket, the Marmot. I think I probably hold the record for the biggest jacket, uh, this last season. I, I wore the Marmot Greenland Baffle down for about three weeks where we there were like two 10 degree really cold nights. After that, I, I called my parents and I said, Hey, can you mail me that jacket? And it never got that cold again. So I really didn't need it. Um, it's like a, it's like a two or three pound jacket, like down, like it was, that thing was heavy. Um, so I sent that home. Uh, I slimmed down the amount of Ziploc bags that I had. I had some like extra ones, uh, a lot of extra stuff sacks that I didn't need. Um, I had a little uh, half of a bandana in my pot for like cleaning it. I uh, realized I didn't need that, just used my finger. Uh, didn't really need to dry it out. Uh, I sent home an Amazon Kindle. I just realized that at the end of the day, I was just tired, uh, didn't want to read, um, hung out with people, and ended up doing a lot of audiobooks instead. Uh, sent home a Gatorade, or no, I didn't send that home, <laughs> threw out a Gatorade bottle uh, in place of smart water bottles. Um, uh, got rid of the big Bic lighter, went for the mini Bic lighter, just lighter weight. Uh, they'll, it'll last plenty of time, like no, no need for that extra fuel. Uh, I started out with like a homemade windscreen made of aluminum foil. Um, bad idea for how to make one because it was, when I would fold it up, it just, just don't do it with that. Um, there's some thicker foil you can make one with, but I didn't really find a need for a windscreen personally. Like when it was windy, I just put my hand around it for the two minutes for to heat my water up. I, it really wasn't an issue for me at all. Um, went for a smaller body glide. The smallest one is plenty. You don't need the big one. You won't use it. So save the weight. Um, ditch contacts on the trail uh, wasn't didn't you know dirty and uh, kind of a hassle because I, I the ones you take out every day like use them for two weeks clean them not the best um, so I just did glasses. Some people will do ones that like you just have to take you leave them in for two whole weeks and then take them out. That would work fine. Um, I didn't I stopped using earplugs. I didn't sleep in shelters and they got dirty. It's kind of nasty. Uh, what's this? I slimmed. Oh, my first aid kit, I slimmed down a whole ton. I probably started out with like a four ounce first aid kit and ended up with basically blister tape, one or two little like alcohol wet wipes, uh, 
body glide, a small knife, tweezers, and a patch for my sleeping pad if a hole sprouted in it. So uh, now I'll kind of go through what's in here. Got rid of a GoPro, uh, just filmed my iPhone for YouTube videos, uh, extra weight, not worth the hassle. Along with that, the stick pick that I could film on my trekking pole, never really used that. Cool product, but never used it. A second trash compactor bag. You only needed one for my clothes. Uh, I had this for my tent, but I ended up just uh, putting the fly, the, the body of my tent, wrapping the fly around that, so that kind of waterproofed the area I'd be sleeping in. So you don't didn't need a separate one of those. Got rid of my glasses case. I just always wore my glasses and hung them up in my tent or shelter. Uh, stopped carrying a pen. Didn't need that. Uh, I went to like wireless uh, earphones, so I stopped carrying the wired ones. I'll definitely bring some kind of headphones. You will probably need that. Stopped carrying this very heavy Leatherman. Just carry the smallest like little basic knife razor blade I could find. Um, didn't need that big thing. Stopped carrying a watch, had my phone. Uh, let's see, a lot of extra clothes. Clo so my, my base weight decreased eight pounds during this. Um, so some of these clothes are like winter, uh, like, actually no. Yeah, like if I were to do my, how I, I, my clothes that I wear is good. All, my final pack loadout is good for the entire season, like winter or summer, you know, within reason. Um, so all this is basically extra stuff that I realized I didn't need. Um, boxers, uh, I ended up getting a pair of like, uh, running shorts with, uh, that had an underwear liner. So I didn't need boxers. Um, didn't need liner socks. Um, only had, only ended up with two pairs of socks. So that was, a uh, an extra one. No, I didn't find liners good for me. I had a stuff sack for my clothes. Ended up ditching the stuff sack, just threw the clothes, stuffed the clothes in the bottom of my, uh, um, trash compactor bag. Uh, this was a, uh, shirt, a long, long sleeve synthetic shirt. Ended up not, don't really need any long sleeve shirts. I was fine with just a short sleeve shirt. Um, another long sleeve synthetic shirt, same reason. Also, I had one for bed and one for, uh, hiking. Um, really only needed one. Uh, this was like a mid-layer synthetic, uh, not needed. For upper body, I basically just had a short sleeve t-shirt, a uh, insulated jacket, and a rain jacket, and that was plenty for me. Um, didn't need any extra clothes than that. A uh, little, carried a roll of duct tape here, ended up just having some of my trekking pole, and that was good for me. Stopped carrying the physical AWOL guide, just used the PDF version and gut hooks. I carried a journal with me in the beginning, um, but stopped using it uh, after um, a month or so. Um, I'd, I journaled on my phone, just in the notes app, uh, kept track of that. Here had a bandana. Uh, I used this for like, I, I had it like around my head for sweat, ended up just dealing with it, just trying to save weight, extra stuff that I didn't really need. Uh, some liner gloves, uh, I used them in the winter. Um, Ended up uh, at the end just having like my backup pair of socks as gloves if it was really cold. Uh, and hiking, my hands would be warm down to probably like freezing. So uh, this is a pair of like zip off pants that I used in the beginning. My final choice for pants was long underwear liner and uh, the running shorts. So, um, you know, if it were really cold, I reconsider something like these are my rain pants marmot preset i depends on like the conditions for the most part i wouldn't need these uh but if it's like really cold like really windy like it might be nice um but i was hiking in like 20 degree weather without wind pants and i was fine but if you're you know maybe the white mountains or, or in the beginning that was like mixed opinion on that uh i started out carrying a personal locator beacon um, I carried it for probably about two thirds of the trail. Um, so I, I carried it for a while, a lot longer than, um, you know, most people don't carry one of these. Some people carry the spot version, but the trail is very safe. Like, I mean, yeah, like if something happened, I could do this, but I had cell service most of the time. And, um, for the, the general consensus is this is not needed on the trail. Uh, stuff sack that I ditched for my quilt. I just ended up stuffing my quilt right in my trash compactor bag like 
with this, you don't need to, like this, the, when you just stuff it right in, it fills in all the little nooks and crannies. This keeps it to a certain shape, so it can be like a less efficient way of packing it. I mean, it seems neater, but um, I was fine without it. Uh, got rid of this little sun cap here. I ended up being fine without any cap. Uh, didn't really need anything there. Um, I used the, I had transition glasses, so they turned into sunglasses when it was sunny. I ditched this for a longer uh, spoon or spork. Uh, no, no, yeah, spork, um, titanium. So I didn't need this guy right here. Uh, sp fork not needed. Spoon is all that's needed. Ooh, what do we have here? Mountaineering socks, big socks. I uh, really didn't need these um, too much. That's all that. Uh, these are some bigger gloves that I found I really didn't need. Um, you know, maybe if I were doing a prolonged winter thing. No, actually, no. Not no Uh, can't find the other one. Uh, what do we got next? Uh, pepper spray. I sent that home. Uh, that felt safe, you know, basically all the time. No one really carried that. Uh, this is a second pair of leggings. Like, I had one for night, one for day. I just ended up wearing the same clothes the whole time and, you know, did laundry. I didn't really care too much about that. A bug net. Uh, if you're going, like, Sobo, like, more in the... I forget what normal... So I, I did kind of a late s s southbound start from Maine. And the, the bugs were kind of getting better, so I didn't experience that at its worst. Um, at its worst, this may have been nice to have, uh, but you can get by without it, but I didn't experience at its worst, so that's why I, I put it in this pile. Too big of a water bladder for me. This is a two, three liter. Uh, I was fine with two one liter smart water bottles and a one liter bladder Sawyer, so I could carry three liters total. That was plenty. If I were camp, stealth camping, one liter for dinner, one liter for breakfast, one liter for, uh, to get going in the morning. It was perfect. Uh, stuff sack for my tent poles. I ended up just putting them as is in the side mesh pocket of my Exos. So no, that was not needed. Uh, little, uh, chest, uh, pocket that, um, ended up not really needing. I, just put my, my, the Exos has like a, on the shoulder straps, it has like little pockets. So I put snacks in there and uh, my phone in there. Um, sternum strap, I ended up not finding it useful. So I got it off my pack. I got the, took the brain off of my pack. Um, ended up not needing that extra organization. Wasn't worth the wait for me. I also cut my hip belt off. Uh, don't recommend it. I'll just, I'll just say that about that, yeah. Maybe not. Um, I was a little ambitious, maybe, with the weight there. That's the other glove. Trekking pole baskets, not really needed. These are more useful in, like, very deep snow. Wasn't really any of that. Um, and then my... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, hat. When this, this is, like, a little hat. Maybe. I didn't really need it. I was fine with the hood on my puffy... Uh, and the hood on my rain jacket where I could add that together. Um, I sent home the case for my pocket rocket. What you got? I don't know why I brought this. I brought a lock for my pack. I never used it. I sent that home like a couple weeks into it. It is fine. I mean, once in a while you hear a story of a pack getting stolen on the trail. You know, it might happen like once a year. But just you know i mean yes you have to put your pack like sometimes outside of a store most of the time it's fine most people are good so uh security is not really a concern uh oh boy um i had like a needle needle and thread here uh i some people bring that i didn't bring it i i sent it home e what else we got um these were like other mini baskets that were on my trekking pole also i didn't need that um Another part of my sternum strap. Uh, ooh, I sent home a lot of, like, extra carabiners and gear ties. Uh, I ended up not clipping anything to the outside of my pack. So, uh, yeah, just tried to keep things simple. Um, sent home some extra bear rope. I ended up with, like, general recommendations, like, 50 feet 
of bear rope. I just realized I always had like extra every night that I didn't need, so I sent that home. Um, what is that? Uh, uh, some extra, uh, to, uh, what are they called? Guy lines for my tent that I didn't need. Um, and uh, another gear tie. The end of my spoon that I cut off. Uh, it was a little bit long for me. Didn't need that whole thing. And uh, this was a USB adapter to charge my Kindle with the same cable, but I didn't send the Kindle home. So that's everything. Uh, pretty amazing. I, I am really amazed like how much I was able to learn about myself and gear for this hike. Like all this stuff I, I didn't need. Like look at all this weight. Like, you know. Now don't don't feel like you have to like make if you're just like you know if you're first through hike don't feel like you have to make all these decisions like in the beginning like everyone's learning as they're going and like some people don't send much stuff home some people do um for me this was like the, one of the most fun parts about the trail like trying to get my like re learn how light I could live on in my pack you know it's like yeah 13 pounds and if I were to do the trail again there's another video where I talk about what gear I would change like if I were to repurchase some big things um, I could get my base weight down to probably about 10 pounds. So, so that f makes me feel really cool. Like, all right, I can, you know, survive 10 pounds, like everything I need for, you know, aside from food and water, of course. So yeah, uh, that's that. Thanks for watching.